वेलकम टू दरिया ऑनलाइन ट्रेनिंग मॉड्यूल मॉड्यूल सिक्स कार्गो पंपिंग सिस्टम ऑन टैंक नियरली ऑल पंप फॉल विद इन टू कैटेगरीज पॉजिटिव डिस्प्लेसमेंट पंप एंड सेंट्रीफ्यूगल पंप Positive displacement pump displaces liquid from inlet and move it to an outlet for discharge. The common features are they are self priming. The liquid is displaced from suction to discharge site by mechanical movements. They have high differential pressure. They are suitable for medium to high viscosity liquids. Their output is proportional to speed of pump. They are generally steam driven. their pump operates on the principle of pushing of liquid by a piston that executes a reciprocating motion in a closed fitting cylinder the reciprocating motion is done by steam which gives rotary motion to crank and up down motion to piston in cylinder when piston moves up suction is created and when moves down discharging happens suction and delivery valves provided are non return valves common advantages are they are self priming they have high discharge pressure they have good suction there are no adverse effects of air in suction site their limitations are they have low flow rate they are pulsating flow they are to be operated with discharge valves open only they need relief valve in discharge site they are more prone to wear and tear Common examples are reciprocating stripper or piston pumps. Diaphragm pump. Gear pump. Vane pump. Screw pump. centrifugal pumps their motive force is centrifugal force by rotating impeller they are not self priming they operate best only if positive head on the suction side they are normally started with discharge valve closed they have high discharge rates they have low to moderate discharge pressure as the impeller rotates centrifugal force pushes liquid outward from center by centrifugal force centrifugal pumps are the most preferred pumping devices in the hydraulic world in this video we will have a conceptual overview of working of centrifugal pumps at the heart of the system lies the impeller It has got a series of curved vanes fitted inside shroud plates. The impeller is always immersed in water. When the impeller is made to rotate, it makes the fluid surrounding it also rotate. This imparts centrifugal force to water particles and the water moves radially out. Since rotational mechanical energy is transferred to the fluid at discharge sides of impeller, both pressure and kinetic energy of water will rise. At suction side, water is getting displaced, so a negative pressure will be induced at I. Such low pressure helps in sucking fresh water stream into the system again, and this process continues. This is the reason why priming is important for centrifugal pumps. If no water is present initially, The negative pressure developed by rotating air at eye of impeller will be negligibly small to suck fresh stream of water. Impeller is fitted inside a casing. So the water moving out will be collected inside it and will move in the same direction of rotation of impeller to the discharge nozzle.
Here you can note one specialty of casing. It has got increasing area along the flow direction. Such increasing area will help in accommodating newly added water stream and will also help in reducing exit flow velocity. Reduction in flow velocity will result in increase in static pressure, which is required to overcome resistance of pumping system. Here you can see more details of vanes inside impeller. They are backward curved vanes with state-of-the-art eye configuration. This vein is extracted from a Curloscar pump model. If pressure at suction side of impeller goes below vapor pressure of water, a dangerous phenomenon could happen. Water will start to boil, forming vapor bubbles and spoil impeller materials over time. This phenomenon is known as cavitation. More the suction head, lesser should be the pressure at suction side to lift water. This fact puts a limit to maximum suction head a pump can have. Careful pump selection is required to avoid problem of cavitation. Current impeller type is enclosed. Semi-open and open impellers are also in use depending upon application. If the working fluid is cloggy in nature, it is preferred to use open kind of impeller. But they are slightly less efficient. Mechanical design of centrifugal pump is always challenging. A shaft is used to connect between the impeller and motor. Since water pressure inside casing is huge, a proper sealing arrangement is imperative in arresting water leakage through shaft casing clearance. Mechanical seal or stuffing box based mechanism is used for this purpose. Impeller is mounted on bearings, but at suction side of impeller, it is not advisable to fit a bearing since it will block the flow. So bearings have to be fitted at the other end. This means impeller is mounted like a cantilever. For high flow rate pumps, a bearing housing with cooling oil is necessary for improving life of bearings. We thank Curliscar brothers for their technical support and creation of this video. The common advantages are they have high flow rate, they have continuous flow, they are safe to operate with discharge valve close, there is no need of relief valve in discharge side, they are less prone to wear and tear, they are comparatively small size. The limitations for same are, they are not self-priming, they have low to medium discharge pressure, they have low suction and need net positive suction head. There are adverse effects of air in suction side. They have low efficiency with high viscous liquid. They need additional priming or stripping unit. Net positive suction head is the difference between the actual pressure of the fluid at the pump inlet and the vapor pressure of that fluid. The pump has a NPSH requirement in order to prevent cavitations, damage occurring and causing severe damage. The NPSH increases with flow due to pump internal losses like friction, impeller losses, etc. This is a simple diagram showing the pump head. If the pressure head at the pump suction falls below the vapor, pressure head then the liquid boils and cavitation can occur. Net positive suction head is equal to ambient pressure head plus minus static head minus friction head minus vapor pressure. Net positive suction head is the actual head available. In application, the available NPSH must always be greater than the required NPSH. The former may be calculated knowing 
the details of suction piping while latter is available from manufacturer's data. To avoid cavitations, NPSH available has to be greater than NPSH required. Eductor is a simple type of pump which works on the venturi effect to pump out air, gas or liquid from a specified area. Working principle is the venturi effect, a particular case of Bernoulli's principle, applies to the operation of this device. Fluid under high pressure is converted into a high velocity jet at the throat of the convergent divergent nozzle which creates a low pressure at that point. Eductor works on Bernoulli's principle, increase in velocity results pressure is reduced and suction is created. This low pressure or vacuum enables the eductor to suck liquid or gas from a certain area. Suction valve is kept closed in starting, discharge and drive walls are kept open. Drive liquid enters at high pressure or low velocity which when expands in diffuser, the velocity is increased and pressure is reduced which creates suction. At sufficient suction, the suction valve is opened and the suck liquid air is discharged along with drive liquid from discharge line. Cargo Stripping System the stripping system is provided with cargo oil pumps which enables the continuous discharging of oil from tankers to take place without any manual intervention right up to the end of the discharging operation. By maintaining net positive suction head, by keeping pumps, priming separators filled and controlling the discharge valve condition. Thank you for attending this training module.